um, how you were doing it earlier during the um, session. How did you, you know, um, get the confidence to do it? Um, I think it's a lot of really trial and error and finding the right formula to get the opportunities so you can hit your destiny. I think that goes the same with my skin care, um, aside from you know, winning Miss Universe out of like there were 80 of us, 80 candidates, and winning Miss Universe, which I thought was like um, a long shot. Um, it still happened, and I think that also goes the same with your skin care. Like if you find the right skin care routine for you, then you should really stick to it because it can make all the difference. You've had a lot of ups and downs in your career, of course, the up would be for the Miss Universe, but what would you say was the lowest point in your career? How did you get that? I think the lowest point would have to be the the rejection and the first few times where I didn't make it or I felt like I wasn't being recognized for my hard work or for my talent and for what my capabilities or my potential. So uh, that was challenging because I had to convince people that um, I do have what it takes to get to where I am, uh, to make my dreams come true. And I, I, I think when you when you hear it, it doesn't sound like such a challenge. But when you're actually there and you're really left with nothing but to keep on fighting, it's actually pretty pretty hard. Yes, easier said. Yeah. Um, what advice would you give to people, the young men and women who are you know they're just struggling, they're still struggling to to you know fulfill their dreams? Uh, my advice for them would be, um, it's okay to have like experience some failure or some like negativity at first. I mean, again, it's really a lot of trial and error. Um, you're very lucky if you get it you know, on your first try or your first attempt with anything, especially with your career ambitions. But it, it's actually more rewarding when you go through challenges to get to where you want to go. So it actually feels more fulfilling once you're actually there. Only is a skin care. Why is it important for you to take care of your skin and stuff? Uh, well, because it is a big part of my job, yeah. I'm constantly in front of the camera and speaking to other people. And I did join a beauty pageant after all. So it is very important because um, not, not everything can be hidden by makeup. So uh, you have to look good even without the makeup on. And, and even in, on regular basis where you just want to go there or look natural. You have to be able to pull that off because you can have even the most expensive makeup, but if you don't have a canvas to work with, then it just, you know, it doesn't matter if you have the most expensive tools to do the most expensive makeup. Skincare is number one in makeup. Actually, skincare goes first, right? Uh, and then second is makeup. <laughs> Did you ever have any skincare problems? Yeah, I did actually. Like, um, only because like I kept on experimenting with a lot of makeup and uh, switching brands. And then there was a time where it took a toll on my skin uh, before I even competed for Beauty Beauty. So that was a very stressful time for me because it was like a month before competition. Or, or a, month, a month before the screening to be a candidate. So it was, I was like running out of time. I needed to have my skin clear before competition starts. So luckily I was able to recover from that, but I, I know I know what it's like. I've been there. And you've been super busy lately. You see all the big endorsements not just go and you have like a movie coming up. How do you stay on top of everything? Uh, I like to be aware of everything that's going around me, um, all the endorsements that um, I'm working with, and right now my focus is really um, on this movie and getting it done and getting it done well. So that's that's my focus right now, and then after that, um, we'll, we'll see what happens.